Time for Keeping Up with Katie Kelly. And first up, a New Brunswick filmmaker has released a powerful short film called The Bearded Princess. That's right. Anthony Shoneman turned 22 on December 22nd and says it was the perfect time to share his story. My name is Anthony Shoneman. I'm a small up and coming filmmaker from uh, St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, I'm 22 and I've been doing this for 11 years now. So my new film is called The Bearded Princess and it's something I've been wanting to share for a very long time. Basically, I wish I had been born a woman. I wish that I could be a girl. It's a film focused on me coming to terms with uh, wanting and wishing I had been born a girl. I knew that the only way I could explain it properly was through uh, a video, through a film. And that's what this 25 minute, five chapter short film goes through. I identify as a straight feminine man. I just like to present myself in a more feminine way. So maybe I'll be have my nails painted or maybe I will wear makeup or maybe I'll wear a dress in the summer or maybe I'll wear like a, a, a lacy shirt out or, or something like that. Uh, yeah, I, I the, the goal is to eventually find a, a girl to, uh, a girl that accepts me. I found myself connecting more with the female characters, and yes, even the Ashleys in Disney's Recess. It was very hard to to sit there on my birthday, looking at the upload screen with a completed project, and just knowing that my life was about to change, things were about to, like people were, were about to find out everything. I'm just grateful that the response has been wonderful. I know that there are people out there, regardless of age, regardless of gender, that are suffering and maybe not might not be in a, a healthy home. It's possible that they don't have great support around them. And to just hear that someone around them is feeling different, that it's okay to be different, I thought it was important for them to, to know that. Both of my parents cried after watching the film. They both have kind of known for a few years now as I've kind of uh, shown myself a little more. They they definitely, they're they're scared for me because they don't want me to get hurt, but they are very proud of me. They, they love me. The, the biggest thing that I want in this, and I say it at the end of the film, is to instill self-confidence in the women around me and around the world and to show boys and, and men that it's okay to, to express themselves, to fight the idea of toxic masculinity and, and to really, you know, show the world that these societal norms should just be... Uh, disbanded. It's 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 kind of weird that we still have these in 2021. Now it's the new year. It's weird that we uh, live in such a a time where you can't be yourself. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. and, and nice to see that uh, he's received so much support from his parents and his family. And yes. that, you know, it sounds like that had a lot to do with him actually being able to tell his story in Absolutely. such a public way. Yeah, and the film is receiving a ton of support as well. It's already um, been accepted for a film festival in Paris, which is awesome. So getting a lot of exposure. And he also does a lot to give back to the women in his community as well. So Wonderful. just a great person. Yeah, all around win-win. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on here to our next.